Alright, what's going on? It's your boy Big Marv sitting here with the nice, beautiful, talented Mona Lisa. This is but my first question for you is what made you start rapping in like what age did you start rapping? What made me start rapping? What age? I was like 13, 14, and I was at the Boys and Girls Club, and it was this girl who was there, and she was rapping. And she was like, you want to hear my rap? And I was like, yeah. And then she rapped for me. And I was like, oh my God, I wish I could do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so then I started rapping too, like right after that. I'm like, that's so cool. That was the coolest thing I ever seen in my life. So I started rapping and then I started having my own raps. And you know, I was known, known as that girl with that one rap. So like all the kids at the Boys and Girls Club would be like, do that one rap. And then, you know, that's when it started. And I stopped after that and then I started again. Do you remember the first rap? I don't remember that rap I did at the Boys and Girls Club, but I remember the first rap I did at a talent show. And I was like, I think I was like, I forgot how old I was, but it was like, they be like, how you do that, eh? Keep it smooth. Fresh dress from my head to the shoes. Hair done, hair done, nails too. Show stopping when I walk inside the room. Like. <laughs> I'm with that. <laughs> <laughs> that was my like first six, rap. 16? <laughs> bad. I don't know how old I was, but it was like, it was, I was young as hell. But. I mean, hey, we all got to start somewhere. I mean, you know, what do you, where do you find your inspiration from? I hear a lot of your music and like it has a lot of, it pulled from a different, a lot of places. Like you can touch a lot of um, self-empowerment. Uh, and you just give bars and it's different stuff you bring to the table. Like what inspires you and make you rap the way you rap? It's a lot of different things. Like I have a, like an older father. He's like 70. So my siblings just like 40. So <laughs> they grew up off of like Tupac and Biggie and Jay-Z and all of that stuff. And then like on my mom's side, you know, my siblings are like, you know, 30 or whatever, so it's like outcast and like, you know, all of those um, rappers of that generation. So like, I had like a lot of different generations to pull from. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I grew up listening to like old school music. And then of course, like I'm only 22. So of course I listen to like new music. So I like infuse it with like stuff that's going on today. So it has like that old school feel, yeah. you know. Do you have like a favorite rapper, female rapper, male rapper? Um. It's like generic, but I like Biggie. You know, hey, like very, hey, he, a lot of people, a lot of people say Biggie trash, not so. I love Biggie. Like Biggie is my favorite rapper only because like he has like all the stuff that like I like to listen to. Like he has flow and he's a storyteller, and like I'm a poet. Like I really started doing poetry when I was like 11, so it's like poetic, even though it's kind of gangsta. It was gangster, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like so, you know, I say kind of of that. Like even though I didn't live that type of life, like. A, I didn't live that life, but I lived it when he rapped it. So yeah. I'm like, okay. He just put you in the mind frame. You can like picture it. Right. I like yeah. any rap, like Slick Rick. Like I can listen to Slick Rick and I can be like, okay, I'm there. Or I can listen to, you know, like I can, li any rapper that I can listen to and I can go to where they at. I'm yeah. like, okay. Like Nas, Nas, J. Cole. Nas, J. Cole. Yeah. People like that. You know, I like more of like a story, even though I do appreciate a vibe. So you reflect more with the you relate more with the male side of rap than the female female too like missy i like her flow because it's you see the flow of storytelling both is will be like the best for me but like i like flow and missy had like a crazy flow and like um i like lauren hill too she's dope i like her like um i like her empowerment you know mm -hmm. i like um any rapper any female rapper who is a boss and not like weak like i don't like you know? I don't like weak female rappers, no. Yeah. Like, you know, who are like super, like, I don't know. I can't describe it. Like, sell, like selling their soul, kind of, in a way. Yeah, in a way. Like, just super submissive, super, like, the world is yours, not mine. Like, yeah. you know, I don't like those type of rappers. I like rappers, female rappers who control their own vibe. I feel you on that. I mean, the females today, like, I like the Cardi B's and Nicki Minaj's and stuff, but I like the older, more of, like little Kim rappers, the little Kims, Foxy Browns, those rappers really get me going because they was talking about sexuality and was kind of spitting bars to let you know I can hang with the dudes. 
Yeah, I like Lil' Kim too. I do like Nicki Minaj though a lot. I forgot about Nicki Minaj. I really do appreciate Nicki Minaj because she was like one of the, she was one of the only female rappers of her time, like when she first came out and she had like crazy ass flow. She had the voice. She wasn't much of a storyteller, but she had like a yeah. dope, she was a boss and she had a like a dope ass vibe. So like I do mess with Nicki Minaj heavy. Being from Detroit and we don't have a big hip hop musical scene, is it hard? Is it Twice as hard being from Detroit and being a female in the rap like in the rap industry trying to bust through. See, a lot of people would think that like being a female would be like harder or being like from Detroit would be harder, but I feel like I, it kind of makes it easier being a female because, like, of course, when I tell people I'm a rapper, they like doubt me off top because I'm a female. So yeah, they gonna doubt me. But I feel like being a female and being cold it make you colder because they thought I was gonna be whack. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? They doubted me. So, like, when I'm cold, it's like they appreciate me double if I was a male. So, I think it makes it easier. It boosts you higher. Like, I feel like if I was a male, I wouldn't get as much support as if because I feel like everybody, everybody yeah. trying to do it. Yeah, everybody trying to do it. They'd be like, oh, you're just another cold rapper. But because I'm a female, I feel like people, like, are like, oh, my God. Like, you are, like, a unicorn. Like, you are, like, yeah. they act like I'm just... You know, like, I, I'm so cold. Like. I mean, I, I thought you were because I heard um, the first time I was thrown it on Instagram one morning and I just stumbled across FWA. Mm. And I'm like, I never heard a female <laughs> from Detroit rap like that. I'm a fucking, I got an attitude, I'm fucking with an attitude. I'm like, like whoa like yeah and the thing about that song is like i made that song so quick i made that song in like 20 minutes like i really was mad like i really was i had an attitude like i was and then mad. Like, the show the like the sexiness in that because it was kind of powerful to you be like i'm gonna do what i want to do and then they show the bars on the song like minx and cartiers i think it was uh, cartiers and minx cartiers and minx i was like yeah she she ain't a, just a sexy gimmick rapper she really Spitting bars and going in, so I really respect that as well. Yeah, like I try to have a like a balance between like femininity and like you know like the aggressiveness. You know, I try to be like aggressive in my femininity. You know, uh, yeah, I guess. yeah, I you understand know. that. So I I really stalked you for this interview. Like I went <laughs> on Twitter's, Instagrams just to find little questions and to get dive into your mind and not make the interview boring. So like one thing you said that really. I really wanted to hear your explanation behind was you said rapping is easy, being a rapper is hard. Oh, so you was talking about Twitter? Oh yeah, I was. <laughs> I, I really had to dive deep. <laughs> <laughs> rapping, it, rapping is easy, but being a rapper is hard. Rapping is easy as hell to me. Like you give me a pen and you give me a paper and I will rap. Like I can rap. Like that's nothing. Like I will rap for anybody. That's right. It's nothing. It's just what you do. But being a rapper is different. You have to rap plus you have to be a personality plus you have to take photos plus you have to be, you know, like it's a lot of stuff. Plus you have to dress nice. Plus you have to. It's so much stuff that goes in a rapper. Day. You're <laughs> not just a rapper. You're not just a model. You're not just a publicist. You're not just a, a you know, a personality. Like, you're everything. You yeah. are a whole everything. Like, you, you're a walking business. <laughs> exactly. Like, being a rapper is hard. Like, but being a rapper, be, rapping is easy. Like, this, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's two different things. And people will be thinking that rapping is so easy. Of course it's easy, but being a rapper is not easy. That's not, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's not easy. Like Man, you make, you making it sound hard, and I bet it's even, like, getting a makeup team. Yeah, get, makeup, get, get like, people just as dedicated as you are. The videographer, like, videographer, makeup, you know what I'm saying? Photographer, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, promoter, DJ, interviewer, um, producer, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the engineer. The, Y'all gotta support your dream and yeah. It's hella people you need. It's not just a one man show or a one woman show. Even though it looks like that, because the only person that you see is me. Right. But you don't see everybody. Like right now, you know what I'm saying? Tierra on the makeup, Vince on the vid video, Lauren is my manager, you is my interviewer. I am. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> it's hella people in yeah. here, but all you see is me and you. Right. But they don't know that it's like right. They hella know, people. Like they, <laughs> they're shooting it, but. <laughs> These guys definitely helped play the role in the interview. Right. I was definitely like, I'm not about to slide in her DM and ask for an interview. Right. <laughs> it's hella people. Like, it's not just 
two people here on this interview. Right. It's really like a whole team that makes it happen. And people never see that. They only see like the rapper. Yeah. So. I mean, outside of rap, because I know you are a human other than yeah. just a rapping. <laughs> if you have any other hobbies, like what do you like to do other than rap, other than music? Other than music? Um, what do I like to do other than music? I, I don't know, like, uh, <laughs> what'd you say, Laura? Mm-hmm. I don't know. What you I like, like to read? Oh, I mean, yeah, I like to read. Yeah, okay, yeah, I like to read. I forgot about that. <laughs> what, what did I say? What do you like to read? I read everything. I read, like, two books a week. I'm not lying. Like, I'm dead ass serious. Two books. You think I'm playing? Like, I read, like... What's the last book you read? The last book I read... Well, the book I'm reading right now is called Persuasion, the Art of Influencing People. What is that about? I ain't <laughs> never heard that. I was waiting on like a like a cartel. I did read the cards. I read all of them books because you saw my Twitter. <laughs> I did. <laughs> but no, I'm reading the uh, persuasion is basically about you know what I'm saying. How to talk to people, how people act, body language, what certain things mean. It's reading people. It's basically getting in people's minds before you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like. You know, understanding where people coming from is like being empathetic. Like you have to be empathetic for somebody to get what you're talking about. Like if you, if we in an argument right now, if I don't see your point of the argument, you're not gonna see my side because we're right. just gonna be arguing for each other's sides. But if I was like, no, I get you, I get you, but this is what I'm saying. Oh, you gonna really hear me? But you see, know what I'm saying? I gotta show you. I gotta show you my tactics. You gotta agree, then hit them with yours. That's what I just said. I, mean, oh, I, I get care. you. I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but I do not agree. But that's what I'm saying. That, yeah. It's the same thing. That's the same thing. Like, that's the art of persuasion. It's getting somebody so they can get you. I'm trying to use it to get a record deal? <laughs> I'm just reading that. Like, I, I read a lot of books. But I, I read The Art of Seduction, 48 Laws of Power, you know, The Magnetic Heart. You know, I read, I just started getting into urban fiction. I read, you know, um, like, man, I, I got so many books. Like, I read so many books. Like, I told you, I read, like, two books a week. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, I have a book. The last book I read was Charlemagne, so that was probably... Like, I got that. That was, like, probably a year. Last year, I'm not going to say a year. I bought Charlemagne's book, I bought Gucci's book, and I bought Gabrielle Union's book. I read all of them, like... And I buy these. Like, I don't rent books. Like, oh, no, I buy I them for a collection. Yeah, I buy these books. And I'm meeting up with an author, like... I think next week, and I'm like about to like start, you know, right. with her. Are you right? Going, is it gonna be like a poem book, or is it gonna be like a life book? Like, are you I trying to write a novel? Oh, I, but I journal though. I'm like on my sixth journal. I write every day. Like I have like six books full of like my life. Like it's crazy. You pulling, you pulling them <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> like I have a lot of like literature. So like. What's um? Do you have a next project, like another project coming out, or something coming up? Yeah, I have a project coming up. Still doesn't have really a name yet, but the one after that is for Color Girls, which the it's um for Color Girls is like basically like a book in a project. It's like four different girls with different personalities, and each one got their own poem and own okay. songs. Okay, yeah, I see. Is that on? YouTube? Yeah, it's on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, it was like India and... Yeah, and all of those girls, and they have, like, each of them have their own songs, and it's a whole project of, uh, like, you know, I'm just trying something new. I like, I actually like that. Yeah, yeah. That was dope. I mean, yeah. that, was, that was dope. I really enjoyed that. So we got four color girls on the way. You about to write a book. Anything, anything else you, I mean, you seem like you very talented. Like, what's the end game? Like, I don't know the end game because every day I want to do something different. Like I'm only 22, like you know, so you know, it's it's so much stuff to do. Like it's like I got a long life. Like I don't know. I mean, you might see me at 30 and I might be a rocket scientist. I don't know. Well, <laughs> like, I mean, I, I don't well know. I'm glad I got you early before you got too big and you charging me uh, 30,000 for interviews and stuff. I don't know what the future holds. I just go. I Man, you got a very, very bright future. I can tell you that. Like, just you want to put your hand in everything. I think that's super dope. But yes, I'm like kind of ended. Are you want to shout anything out? Plugs? Shout out to you already gave the managers a shout out. Give them another one. Yeah, shout out to uh, Lauren Cozy Low. Um, shout out to Vince Glass, uh, Matt. Mm-hmm. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> the people's out here. Um, shout out to y'all. You know, Luz Cannon. And I didn't even get you. That's smooth. 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 Hello, smooth. And shout out to you for the interview. This is perfect. You know. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm a little nervous. So hoping I'm nervous hope, hope it don't show. I hope it don't show. It's okay. That's genuine. Well, you know, follow me at Big Mar 50. Follow my guy, Luz Cannon 1. And King. Yeah. King. Smooth. They're very entertaining people. You won't regret it. And I guess... The Mona Lisa. I forgot. Oh, I at Instagram. Mona Lisa. Uh, at the Mona Lisa. T-H-E. And it's a wrap. I appreciate y'all being here and tuning in. Woo! Ooh, 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 ooh.